especially those who are public figures always in always in the public eye we always have to fake the smile right and have to put a smile on our face no matter what's going on no matter what we're feeling and uh rather y'all know it or not that's draining that's draining to have to pretend that you happy with the, but but to pretend that you're happy but then you go in the room and you just cry you know or you go somewhere and you talk to your to the person you're close with and you talk to them about how you feel but even they don't understand it because you were just out there on like some red carpet or doing some interview or some magazine and you were happy and cheesing and you were so motivational but when you get back to your room and you get back to your real life you're just dealing with so much shit and you're just sad as fuck and you don't want to tell anybody that you're sad because you feel like I know what I feel like I feel like energy is contagious so it's like if you speak good things, good things happen. You know, if you speak bad things, bad things happen. Or, you know, you can give off your energy to somebody else. And a lot of us athletes, like, we deal with our stuff and we don't speak on how we really feel because we don't want it to affect y'all. We don't want y'all to feel sad or to feel sorry for us or to, you know. Um, and then sometimes y'all say we making it, that we making excuses. And, um... It's really like, look, athletes are humans too. Like we're like we're humans, and um, celebrities are human beings. And as I, the longer that I be a celebrity, the more I kind of respect, you know, Jay Z and Beyonce, just like protecting their peace, only being surrounded by those who care about their life and their happiness, and you know, being surrounded by that, you know, and. Um, and, and, and also them being so private and I think that um that's something to be admired you know or or inspired by I will say but man it's a lot of pressure I just I, I really wish that Simone Biles would have had the right mental help that she needed before before it was the Olympics you know, I wish that she would have had the help because I, I, I look, I respect her decision. Oh, nope, car accident. Not going down there. Ain't letting nobody through. Going right over here. Um. Yeah, and you know what? I just want to say too, like, Simone Biles is so great, bro. Like, she can do stuff that other women can't do. She's like, like me. She can do stuff that other women can't do, and I think it's bull crap that she's being penalized or that they put this rule in place to penalize her that if she does the her super flip that can't nobody else do or can't no other woman do I guess and it was like why would you put that rule in place for like now you're making to have to choose in between being you know average or go out there and be great but be penalized for being great you know in any situation I've always chose greatness because only the athletes know what greatness is. People can say, oh, this is what greatness is for this person or for that person, but only the athlete really knows what greatness is. And, um, and honestly, greatness is just whatever the athlete wanted to be. Like for me, I'm three time division world champion, you know, 12 time world champ, and 11 and 0, two knockouts, and first boxer in history to be undisputed in two different weight classes in the four belt era and to have that accomplishment and then you know where the hell I was going with that yeah like I'm the only one that's able to do that to do those kind of things and then to see that Simone Biles the same way you know it's like you like them telling me like hey Clarissa you're just too you just punch too fast and you're just too skilled for these women so we're not going to count your right hand as a punch no matter how many times you land it just to make it fair for the other girls like come on bro and then like i said to be able to also go into do mma while i'm still boxing and i'm still on top to even take that kind of risk and then come out on top as the winner yeah it's it's a big deal you know, so I always chose greatness and I've never been penalized for being great. You know. And that's how I feel.
Who is this weirdo? But anybody on here saying that Simone's bow quit? Y'all can get the fuck off my life. Seriously. Uh, anybody saying that, you might as well just get off my life because I'm I'm removing you anyway. And that's on the rip, you know. But I was actually feeling a little down today myself. You know, like I said, I deal with stuff that I don't put on the internet. And I'm still not going to put it out. But just not as like my happy self. You know, um, one of my close friends lost in the Olympics today in boxing. And uh, it just did not. Two of my friends lost, actually. And one of them I'm really close to. And it just did not make me feel good, you know, just from that. So uh, everybody wants to do interviews with me and talk with me about it. And, I've done an interview or two, but I just want to throw on, whenever I put on my Olympic gold medals, I feel good, you know, I feel good, and it makes others around me feel good, and it's the Olympics time, so why not wear my Olympic gold medals, anybody that has an Olympic gold medal and feel like they can't wear it on in public for whatever reasons are, oh, you're not being humble if you do that, you're not this or that, it's like, I'm the only one got punched in the face for these Olympic gold medals. Who the fuck else got punched in the face besides me? I got hit in the face. I got freaking uppercut in the stomach. I have to throw punches at people. I have to train years and years and years and not have a childhood to get ready for the Olympics when I was 17. Well, when I was 13, coming up till I was 17. Like, I'm going to wear my Olympic gold medals whenever I feel like it. I don't have to just hang them up in a closet because somebody made up some damn rule that that's what humbleness is. Like, what? You win the Olympic gold medal so you can wear them. I don't have to borrow anybody Olympic gold medal. I can just put my shit on. So, that's just it right there. You know what I'm saying? But I hope everybody is doing well. Um, tune into the boxing and you know, wish the team good luck. Follow all those guys who are fighting Keyshawn Davis, Box Boy Trey, um, Jenny Fuse, O'Shea Jones from Ohio. Um, I know Richard Torres, I think he's a heavyweight. Um, a few other little cats that I can't remember their names right now. But yeah, just tune into the USA Boxing and wish those guys luck and give them the best of your uh, wishes. Okay, Demi. I'll go. I hate when somebody else make it to a stop sign before me and they just sit there and wait for me to go. It's like, bro, you were here first. Go. I worked out pretty hard today, though. But something happened at the gym that just threw me for a loop. Like, I don't, I don't know. I can't really. I, how can I recall it? I think a girl thought I was staring at her or something and she bucked her eyes at me like this but I was just doing my crunches and looking straight ahead and then and before I knew it I saw somebody looking at me and uh, she like bucked her eyes and I was like what the fuck <laughs> I didn't know what the hell was going on so when I got done doing my crunches we locked eyes and I waved her I'm like hey what's up like one I wasn't staring at you and two if I was why is it a problem Unless you just feel like you ugly or something, then that's another issue that you're dealing with within yourself. You try to put the issue out on me. But it was weird. It was weird. I felt like this girl had like some kind of attitude because I was doing my crunches and she thought I was looking at her. And it was like, I'm not looking at you. OMG. I sound white. Man, please get your ass out of here. Take a hike. I don't even know what sounding white means.
No, I just looked at her. I'm like, what the hell are you bucking your eyes at me for? I was so confused. I'm like, what the heck? But that's why I waved at her. I was like, hey, what's up? And uh, she just like, look. I'm like, shit, would you want to have a staring contest or something? I have no problem. I get stared at 24-7. People eyes always on me at the gym. I don't, or at the gym or wherever I'm at, grocery store, wherever. It's always somebody kind of looking and like whispering is that Clarissa Shield or something. So it's always happened to me. I don't really be caring about, you know, if somebody see me or, or not. I don't know where. I thought that was mad weird though. Maybe what? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't have any beef with anybody. Like, if it's people who I don't like, then I just don't like them. It's not like I have beef. You know, I think I'm too well. Established to be beating up anybody. In the streets or getting into a fight or anything like that. Like, I'm just not even just well established. Like, I'm a saved Christian and I believe that whatever goes around comes around and, you know I don't know I just I don't believe in all that rah rah stuff like I'm I'm different and uh, I just don't do that kind of stuff I never liked street fighting even back then you know any of the fights that, I, that I've ever gotten into my mom will tell you any of those fights I got into a whole bunch of fights because girls started it with me I just finished it same thing with the guys. I never was the one to say, "Hey, let's fight. I want to fight you." I've never been that kind of way. Um, but when I went out, but uh, growing up, people thought they were going to pick on me or try to fight me. And I guess from the looks of it, I was super quiet, and I guess I I looked scary. I don't know. But people was trying me for a little minute. So when they was trying me, I just had to. I whooping some ass. I whipped, the, I whipped about 10, 15 asses. Probably 20 asses growing up. And uh, yeah. Got three credits that's gonna last forever. Because I took down some big hitters who thought they were just untouchable and that they couldn't be messed with. And then they met me. So, yeah. Queen Beauty by Loriana. What did you say? Yeah, something was wrong with hunger. I don't know what it was. But I ain't gonna get you bent out of... I, I wasn't bent out of shape by at all. I promise you that. I was not bent out of shape at all. I'm just like, oh. Somebody has an attitude. Not me. Because I'm living. And I'm doing the best that I can be to be happy and be fit and train hard. You feel me? Oh, Not to finish yet. The movie I was filming in recently was Lola 2. So you can go watch Lola on 2B, it's an app called T-U-B-I. And what's up, Nate Broston? What's going on with you, G? I ain't seen you. I haven't seen everybody in fair since like COVID and stuff. 